Well, thank you once again for, uh, for your kind invite and thank you for the two um, of my colleagues, uh, Rongli and Matt so far, for providing excellent discussions and, and points. So the, the, I will present some of the questions that I tend to get fairly often. And probably the first one since the uh, injection paper has been published is, uh, if I don't have any experience in cannulation, would you recommend that I use the injection method rather than the cannulation? And really my response to that is not a very satisfactory one. I would say it's yes and no. And the reason why I say that is because both methods have applications and um, so injection method, of course, and, and have their own benefits. So injection method, of course, is I would say simpler to use because you don't have to learn how to cannulate the hearts. So therefore you do get this quicker learning process. Uh, there is some comment on reliability, on a, on a better reliability for isolating cells than the Langendorf method. I suspect that's probably, uh, uh, to some extent, user um, specific. So some people will will take to it very well. Some people will not take to it as well as the Langendorf. I would probably not like to comment on that. But obviously, the benefit is that there's no specialized kit required. The reason why I would say that. The reason why I would say is that it, Langendorf method uh, or learning the Langendorf method for isolation is, is important as well. And some of the benefits of it are, is that it's established in many labs. I would say that it's better in our experience so far in isolating atrial cells. We have attempted this uh, to some extent using the injection method. So whilst we have got atrial cells using the injection method, the yields were actually much lower than using the Langendorf method. So if you really do want to isolate atrial cells like, like we do here in Birmingham, I would really probably say that the Langendorf method still at this point in time for me is, is better for that. Um, and actually quite importantly, learning the Langendorf method is not just about isolating cardiac myocytes. It also allows you to do functional experiments on whole hearts. So. For example, we, we do uh, contractile experiments with, uh, with an insertion of a balloon into the left ventricle. We do a lot of electrical experiments using maps as well as um, uh, recording of mon um, uh, monophasic action potentials using electrodes, but also obviously using the optical mapping, something which my lab has done quite a lot of. And obviously those methods wouldn't be possible to be done without the Langendorf method because you wouldn't be able to keep the heart going. And, and, and some of the metabolic um, studies also wouldn't be possible using this methodology. So, so when I get that question, which I do often get it, uh, is it, is it easier to use an injection method and should I therefore use that instead of the Langendorf? I would probably say that most of my students have found it easier to adopt the injection method, but I would also say the Langendorf method and learning how to cannulate hearts is important particularly for isolating atrial cells uh, well particularly because of its ability to isolate atrial cells better uh, you can you can experience it in in many more labs around the world as well which are using it and and also obviously for all the functional experiments that you can do using the Langendorf method so I would probably stop there and uh, just uh, consider Ron Lee's and uh, and Matt's thoughts on this as well yeah, I, I think I, I completely agree with this. Uh, I, I, you know, now I learn more and hear more about the wonderful method without, with an, without Lincoln Dorf preparation. I think that definitely has its advantage. We're eager to try. But then learning using Lincoln Dorf is twofold. It's not only just for myocyte isolation. I think this is a wonderful way to measure uh, cardiac functions. Uh, outside of uh, other neurohormonal inference and really can give you a lot of information. Uh, you know, just mention, you know, right now people interest about looking at the uh, um, metabolism. I think this is a wonderful way you can basically provide any metabolite you want to give it to, you know, any, any, you can provide any food, you can give glucose, you can give fatty acid. Of course, if you do fatty acids, the regular Lingen dog perfusion will not work. You will have a different way we actually published before uh, to uh, able to do the Lingen uh, dog perfusion and using fatty acids. And you sort of need to do using air exchange method to 
provide oxygen instead of just directly bubbling oxygen. Because if you got, you know, a fatty acid, you need a carrier. If you bubbling oxygen, then you are changing uh, the condition. So that's a story for another day. But, you know, I just want to uh, really uh, echo what you're saying. Wonderful uh, way to use in Lingadorf system to do other study as well. Matt, would you have yeah. any comments? Um, no, I, I, I agree with everything you've said. Um, certainly the injection method, we try to simplify it um, as much as possible. And I think the aim of that partly was to um, make it accessible to uh, a wider number of groups. Um, but yeah, there's absolutely great things that you can do with a Langendorf and it's an important uh, technique. And if, and if possible, it's, it's great to, to learn that as well, as you say.